and dear students so hope you are doing fine and today uh, i am mr mignor sain assistant teacher uh, in english at post lines school and college bogra with the students of class 10 and our today's class uh, will be held on english second paper and our today's topic uh, preposition and this is the uh, part 4 of preposition and as because we already discussed in the previous classes uh, basics and elementary things of prepositions and today we are going to learn some more appropriate prepositions and in the previous class we also learned that uh, what is appropriate prepositions and according to english uh, usage uh, some words are followed by certain Preposition, particular prepositions. These are called appropriate prepositions. So today we are going to learn some more appropriate prepositions. So okay, let's get started. Accustomed to the word accustomed is followed by the preposition to. I am accustomed I am accustomed to this type of life so uh, this is the sentence uh, i am accustomed to this type of life accustomed to means uh, to be habituated uh, another appropriate prepositions accused of the word accused is followed by the preposition of he was accused of theft so uh, this is the word accused and the word Uh, accused is uh, accused is followed by the preposition of. Now the another appropriate preposition and the word adjacent to the word is followed by the preposition to and the word adjacent to this means uh, somewhat close close. He is. His school is adjacent to his home. Careful. Of the word careful is followed by the preposition of. Be careful. Of upcoming. so um, these are the appropriate prepositions 
Okay, let's you get to learn more prepositions. Deal in. Deal in. The word deal is followed by the preposition in, and that means uh, run a business or uh, to do a business. He deals in rice. Excels in the word excels followed by the preposition in. He excels in painting. Painting. Then the another word. Hmm. Deal with. The word deal is also followed by the preposition with, but here the meaning is different from the previous one. Deal with means to focus on. The composition. deals with campus violence the another word close Close the word close is uh, followed by the preposition to. He is very. the word affection it affection it is followed by two I am very affectionate and very affectionate to children affectionate to this means to have some affection so I am very uh, affectionate to children that means I have a great affection for children the uh, word affection but this is the word, this is adjective, affect, um, affectionate, but uh, the word affection is followed by the preposition for, or affection. Affection for.
I have Grand affection for kids. So these are the uh, appropriate prepositions. Let's learn another or more prepositions. Dedicated to the word dedicated is formed by two. The book, the book is dedicated to his father. Desire for he has no desire for fame in life. So the word desire is. Uh, followed by the preposition for among in to remain in a large uh, number plenty of the word abound is followed by the preposition in. Fishes abound in ponds. The word abound may contain the another pre uh, preposition abound so the word uh, abound is also followed by the another preposition with but here the meaning uh, is somewhat different uh, look at the sentence and the uses of the word abound ponds Faithful is followed by the preposition to the dog. The dog is faithful to his master. Faithful to his master. So this is the word. Appropriate preposition.
consist the word consist is followed by the preposition of the class consist of fifty boys. The another word engage engage to. Lila was engaged to him. The other prepositions, the appropriate preposition is uh, prefer, prefer, prefer is always followed by the preposition to I prefer T to coffee prefer to familiar with the word familiar is followed by the uh, preposition with I am familiar with the person. Ambition Ambition for the word ambition is followed by the condition for he has no ambition for money so uh, these are some important appropriate prepositions and in the previous class we also learned some of uh, appropriate prepositions and in today's class we also learn some appropriate prepositions and uh, appropriate prepositions there are uh, a great number of appropriate prepositions and in English language so uh, we have to memorize a uh, great number of appropriate prepositions and at the same time we have to practice it uh, in uh, making sentences so um, this class will be helpful for you and memorize these appropriate prepositions and you will get benefited from today's class so thank you everybody see you again in the next class